I'm carrying books. I'm carrying books. I'm carrying a lot of books. <laughs> hey guys, it's Mail Squawker, and today I am here to bring you guys the Lunar Chronicles series wrap up. Sarah just Snapchatted me. I should probably turn that off. Sarah, you're now in my YouTube video. Um, and yeah, so I finished, um, I finished the Lunar Chronicles within a few years because I read Cinder. I actually read it as a library book now that I'm thinking about it. But Cinder, I read... It didn't say when I even finished it. That's how long ago I read Cinder. I read Cinder so long ago, I didn't even put it in my Goodreads. I don't even think I had Goodreads now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, so there is that. Um. So I will be, how I do my series wrap up is that I give you guys the series that go in chronological order, not publication order, chronological, so that way you guys have an idea of what books that should be read first, and, but then again, this is my opinion on when this first book, I will be showing you guys on when to read it, and yeah, so let's get started. So the first book, which is technically the, either the third book I read, or the second or the fourth book I read within the series, but technically speaking chronologically, it's Fairest by Marissa Meyer, and this is all part of the Lunar Chronicles series, so I will not be repeating myself with the author name, but this is the Scholastic Edition, and I really know I have to get the hardback edition, so please bear with me. But uh, basically, this is Levana's story and how Levana came to be, and this novel was freaking sickening! Like, you literally like saw Lavana and she would literally transform herself to make her look like her all-time crush she transformed herself to be fucking pregnant that's disturbing like I get it that Lavana is a pretty dark person but we don't have to like uh, I think that was just a bit too far in my opinion um, oh, by the way, speaking of opinions, I will be linking down below all of the book reviews that I have given for these books down below, and yeah, so I gave, um, Ferris a 3 out of 5 stars because it was a pretty solid story. It did, made me say WTF a few times, and then again, it was, it was a book that I read in one sitting because, um, this book is only 220 pages, so I read this in one sitting, and yeah, so 3 out of 5 stars. The next book that technically I read first is Cinder, and this is a retelling of Cinderella, and all of these are retellings, just FYI. And the premise of the story is a girl named Cinder, and she is technically adopted, quote unquote, because her dad died, and um, there is this big plague going around, and the plague is like the premise of the story, that there's this plague going around, and Cinder is also also like a five-star mechanic in New Beijing and um and Prince Kai at the time he was called Prince Kai now he is Emperor Kai throughout the rest of the novel series um visits her because he wants to get his robot repaired and there's this ball and like I don't know I don't even know how to describe it like it's just all over the place and it's a good all over the place like I feel like I could just say like it's a sci-fi retelling of Cinderella that just happens to form in a series after that and I rated this I think I rated this a four out of five stars I should probably start calculating these now so I know what to add so right now we're at a seven so seven so there's that so I rated this a 4 out of 5 stars and that moment when Cinder just like like is at the ball and she's like all out that's probably one of the most like slow moey sci-fi best moments I have ever read in a book. Again, really hope this becomes a movie. I would again sell my soul. Um the next book I have that I read next was Scarlet and this is supposed to be a retelling of The Little Red Riding Hood. And if you watched my review, you would know I did not give a best review of Scarlet. I absolutely did not like Scarlet at all. And somehow I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, I'm just going to lower it to 2.5 at this point. But you know what? I'm not even going to change it. 
but I read this in 2016 so technically I started two years ago like I started picking up the series two years ago and um, I did enjoy it it's just that like we were first introduced to Scarlet and I wasn't the fondest of Scarlet because she was just a teenager and she kept making dumb decisions and I'm like no so for now we're just gonna stick it at three so right now we are at a ten and I just did not like Scarlet and I also did not like Wolf but then again we were also introduced to Thorn I believe in this novel and we saw Cinder again which I didn't think we will see Cinder again but surprise she returns out through the rest of the novels um but yeah so not the best sequel to a book drop um, the next book I have which is my fate the next book I have which is my favorite one of the series and that is Cress by Marissa Meyer obviously and this is supposed to be a retelling of Rapunzel and one of the things that I love that Marissa Meyer did put in here was that um, the prince is actually blinded because um, the evil stepmother the evil mother was like yo you need to stop seeing my daughter bam blinds him and not a lot like nobody really knows that part within Rapunzel and I didn't even know that until I saw into the woods and I was like whoa this is weird I never knew about this ever so we were, all, we were introduced to Thorn, and we see more of Thorn in Cress and the chemistry between Thorn and Cress I was shooketh I was Whoa! I loved it. And I live for it. And for some odd reason, I see Cress being played by Owen Wilson, and I don't know why. And I think it's because of I'm imagining his character from Nine in the Museum. And I was like, okay. So now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking of Owen Wilson. So, who's that? <laughs> Cress is probably the best book within the series because literally all it says on Goodreads is it's basically a five out of five stars I don't know if you can see that but there's a lot of five stars rarely any ones and yeah I I loved it and I gave this a five out of five stars so right now I think we are at 15 okay. 15 next I have was the conclusion to um, the Lunar Chronicles series, not including the next book I will be talking about, and that is Winter, and this is supposed to be a retelling of Snow White, and I would say this is a somewhat retelling of Snow White. We didn't exactly get the Seven Dwarves aspect, we got more of like, Snow White, period, and I did not like Winter. I don't like Winter as a character. The book itself I did like. I think it was a nice satisfying ending to the series and to the saga as a whole. It's just that I think Winter could have been written a lot better just character wise but um I just wish she wouldn't act like that and oh it just irritates me but anyway so this is the concluding novel within the Chronicles and I think I gave this a three out of five stars I think I like I gave this a four out of five stars because it was a nice sad like it was a nice ending. I think the reason why I didn't give it the five stars because it was because of winter. And literally so much shit went down in this 800 plus page book. This is 800 pages. The pages are super thin. I didn't know if I like made this clear, but the pages are like they're like super thin and they're super light and I don't like it and I think I saw a youtuber who like compared it to both this book and I think it was a court of mist and fury or a court of ring wings and ruin that either one of the books was exactly like probably around the same amount of pages except that it was bigger and you wouldn't think this would be 800 pages until you start flipping the pages and you're like oh it's actually 829 pages uh but yeah, so I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars, so we're at 15, and now um, we're at 19. So, yeah. And the last book I have to talk about with you guys is Stars Above, which is a collection of short stories that Marissa Meyer has written, and... Uh, 
I wish some of the stories could have been written better. We did get a lot of backstory between certain characters, mainly for me, I mentioned in my book review, um, Cress and Winter, and it explained a lot of things. It's really getting to the end of the video and it decides to cut off. So, um, I would give this a solid four star rating because, like I said before, before the camera decided to cut off on me, um, because of Winter as a character, not as the book, and Scarlet as in the book in general, and Malt and a little bit of stars above, it could have been a lot better. It could have been a solid 4 star rating, but in this case, it is a solid 3.75, which is the actual rating, but I'm rating it as a 4 star series. And yeah, if you want to know what that sound is, it's just me playing with my pop socket. My Hufflepuff sock pocket that I got for Christmas. Um, and yeah, so be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below um, what are your thoughts on the Lunar Chronicles series and what if, honestly, what's your opinion on Wires and Nerves and Renegades because Wires and Nerves, the second book is coming out and I don't know how I feel about it really, so I might read Renegades though. I, Heartless is also on my TBR for this year, just FYI. And yeah, my name is Gillian. I make videos fairly frequently on this channel. And that is another series I finished in 2017. Woo! And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye! My foot is very asleep right now, so I'm gonna wake it up. Bye!